uh, I will say a few words and uh, my counsel, Haji Sham, will uh, give a uh, more uh, detailed explanation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am shocked and uh, bitterly disappointed with uh, the decision of the judges uh, not to allow me to adduce uh, additional evidence. I believe uh, the additional evidence will clearly indicate that Justice Nazlan was heavily conflicted. He was very much aware of the 1MDB and SRC transactions and therefore had deep personal knowledge of these two entities. I also believe that the investigation conducted by MECC will also bear this fact. Unfortunately, we have not been able to do so, uh, but I hope in a final appeal, uh, we will be able to show the truth of the matter. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. One, we share the same sentiments expressed by Dr. Sri. As lead counsel for the team, I must say that I'm terribly disappointed with the decision of the Federal Court this morning in rejecting our motion to adduce further evidence. Last, for the last two days, yesterday and this morning, we presented strong arguments both on facts and on law to persuade the court to allow the application as justice must be seen to be done. Unfortunately, the court did not appreciate our arguments. Now, as far as the application for a German is concerned, I'm also terribly disappointed and saddened by the stance taken by the Federal Court. We are given notice much earlier, that's in uh, late July 2022, that a new team is not prepared to carry on with the appeal because there's no ordinary appeal. The records appeal runs in hundreds of volume, about 179, thousands of pages of grounds of judgment and exhibits to go through. And it's my humble opinion that our request is both fair and reasonable. The court is now adjourned to Thursday. Now, as counsel for Dr. Sri, we have to make a decision by Thursday as to what is the course of action that we will take. We will give this very serious thought and consideration because this is the final lap of the main appeal. And uh, I mean, I'm lost over words because I'm shocked. Even the request for a gentleman is not considered. We put up strong grounds. I thought the court would be sympathetic and exercise its discretion which we feel that there are, there are basis for them to exercise that discretion in our favor. But unfortunately, this was not so. So we go back, we, we will look again at the uh, cause of action we will take and come back on Thursday morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I, I just have two short things to say. Uh, again, deeply disappointed. My full sympathy to the Tusi Nigerian family. But justice is a long road. And sometimes, if you can get it here, you can get it elsewhere. 
Second point I want to make is I'm very happy, very proud of Hisham. I have never seen in my years as a lawyer a defense counsel so passionate, so forceful, so believing in the cause. But of course, to no avail. But I know he's an honest lawyer. And we can tell an honest lawyer from a dishonest one. And finally, I want to say this. We do what we can till the end. We do what we can with all the constraints we have. And I've said in myself that I have been castigated because I've taken up this case at the last minute. I would not have done so if I think there was no basis. There is no respect for people like us, old folks at the bar, that you can be so flippant about it, that you can be so cavalier about it. But I stand with you today, but today we will do what we can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.